Welcome to another episode of Board Game Replay. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to give you an update of what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks. Uh, it's going to be a busy time, so uh, we just wanted to keep you informed of how things are going to be laid out over the next few days. Yeah, uh, first of all, uh, we've got Tabletop Day coming. If you're not familiar with that, definitely check it out. I think it's just tabletopday.com. You can find a little bit more about it. Um, International Tabletop Day, Saturday, <laughs> April 5th. Um, it's where a lot of local game stores are putting on events. There's a lot of great promos to pick up at your local game store, so if you have one, go check that out. If not, I'm sure there's going to be tons of people doing streaming and all kinds of crazy stuff, but it's a day to sit down and play board games with friends or family or gaming groups. So we're going to try our best to take advantage of that, and actually we're going to try to do something we haven't done before, but we've had a lot of requests for, and that's full game playthroughs, and I think Tabletop Day is a good opportunity to start that. Yeah. So we're going to try to, we're going to stick to shorter games, but let me just show you the games. First of all, Ogtect. <laughs> if you haven't heard of this game, it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I have not been able to drag many of my friends into this. I've played this a few times. Yeah, I have not played this yet, yeah. so I'm kind of excited to dive in. It's a riot, and if you don't know about it, I'm going to, I'll break open this box so you can get a quick feel for it. Well, first of all, I mean... It comes with these <laughs> inflatable clubs to hit people with. Uh, this game is, is great. It's, um, I guess, the best way it works. You play on teams, and it needs to be at least four players. It plays from four to eight. And each team has a leader or an Ugtech, which is a pun on architect, I can only assume. A bad pun. Yeah. And then each team gets one of these little crib sheets that sits in front of them. And their leader has a card that is dealt to them at the beginning of the game. Their Ugtech has a card with a design on it that they need to build. Uh, their team needs to build with these gi giant colored blocks <laughs> in this base. <laughs> and uh, the players have no idea what this what this thing is that they're trying to build, uh, but the only way that the, the Ugtech can say what to do to them is to speak basically caveman tongue, like Uganuga and Karugna, and basically saying, like, take this, turn this, but all with this stupid crib sheet of, like, dumb caveman sounds, and then there's different like animations like uh, uh, like pounding your chest and tapping your head uh, anyway it's hysterical and oh yeah when you get something wrong or when you get something right you hit somebody once or twice I don't remember but there's a certain use of this as the Ugg tech where you pound the people if they're getting things right or wrong to let them know that they're doing the right thing but anyway funny game we're gonna do a full playthrough of this because it's pretty short and uh, I think it'll work well for this and it'll be a lot of laughs so uh, we're gonna try to get a full eight player game. yeah it should be fun Definitely. Okay, so let me move this out. And the next, we're going to do a full play of Space Cadets Dice Duel, which a lot of you guys have heard of this game. This game is awesome, and it's getting rave reviews across the board. Um, Two thumbs up. Yeah, this is an awesome game. The last time you played this was like New Year's Eve, I think, which has been way, awesome. way too long. Um, if you're not familiar, this is a real-time dice combat game. <laughs> yeah. Each team controls a ship, and it's moving around a, a battlefield, like Star Trek style, and you're trying to shoot down the other ship. But each player is playing as a different uh, position on the ship. Like one person, they've got the, the guns and the sensors and the shields and the helm. This, it's a different job for every person. And then if you play with enough players, there's even captains. And all the captain does is just stand behind the team and give them orders because he can look at the other team's abilities. He can look at what the other team's doing and help us. Anyway, it's just a riot. So if you haven't checked it out, we're going to be playing this. We're going to be doing a full playthrough. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So definitely check that out. So we're going to try to... These two videos are going to probably be going up before we go to our next event next week. We're going to get to it in a second. But we're going to get these two videos out to you guys before probably mid-next week. But that's probably going to be the last video we put out for at least a little while because we're pretty busy. Um, what are we doing next? And uh, so up next, uh, we're going to be going to PAX East. Uh, we are all on the uh, <coughs> East Coast, and so that is uh, that is our next destination on uh, April uh on yeah, April, April 11th. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so we're heading down to the BCEC um, for some board games, video games, and general nerdiness. Um, <laughs> nerdiness. <laughs> uh, yeah. We have uh, we have everybody going down this year. Even Michelle's going to be joining us That's for right, a little yeah. while. That's so right. we're gonna we're gonna be playing a lot of games. So come on by. You can probably find us. Uh, we're gonna have uh, some business cards to hand out, <laughs> yes, and we we've, uh, uh, you'll probably be able to find us somehow, uh, if not yeah. by our beautiful mugs, uh, <laughs> maybe by a, a sweatshirt that says something maybe a little bit funny or whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be all over the place, but um, we'll be all over the board game floor. I think I'm gonna be spending a majority of my time there. Uh, 
PAX East is getting it's like you said it's your it's video games and board games it's a it's a pretty even split there and every year the board game section has been getting bigger and bigger it was it was pretty small about three or four years ago yeah but it's grown tremendously and now it's it's a it's a really huge area and there's tons of gaming going on sea of people yeah, playing yeah. board games so we'll be spending a lot of our time during the day in that area so if you see us come up to us maybe we'll play a game together say hello whatever we'd love to we'd love to meet you we'd love to hang out with you yeah if you're there definitely stop by and see us. We're getting there. We're actually getting down there Thursday night. So we're getting down there on the tenth, and there's a bunch of I think the Westin and the Marriott Long Wharf are doing um, gaming events, board gaming events those nights. So we're gonna try to hit at least one or two of those. We'll be there. We'll be there. So yeah, again, um, I don't know, shoot me a message on Twitter or an email or something where you're gonna be. Maybe we can meet up and play some games. Absolutely, sweet. <laughs> now after PAX, we wanted to do something a little bit different. We wanted to get you guys involved with uh, what we're going to be playing for the next game. Yeah, um, so we're going to try to do a little a little vote here, I guess, and see how well it works. So we're going to reach out to you guys, the viewers, and um, our next games we're going to be playing. We're, we're going to put this up to a vote of three games. Uh, I'm going to get them over here. Number one, Cosmic Encounter. Uh, this is a great game where you play as a like one of fifty. Actually, I have all the expansions, so like we have like ninety races you can play as in this game. It's crazy. Uh, it's each so much fun. <laughs> each player plays as like a crazy alien species. The game just has just crazy player interaction, all kinds of awesome powers mixing, and it usually has a lot of shouting and, and good excitement in the game. So, Cosmic Encounter is one vote, um, and the next one, the very famous um, Game of Thrones second edition board game. Um, I am dying to get this game to the table. I've played this game a few times myself, but pretty much none of you guys have played this. None of the regular crew has played this. We always think about it, and then mm -hmm. we think about the hours that we have to put into it, and it doesn't <laughs> quite work out. So Yeah, we never usually have it. If, if this game wins your vote, we're going to be playing the four-player version of the game. We're going to be playing um, Feast for Crows expansion, where they s switch things around a little bit, but the game plays with four. It has a finite end. It shouldn't go over about one and a half to two hours. <laughs> So that's the plan. So Game of Thrones is on the table with the Feast for Crows expansion. And um, finally, we had a lot of requests for this one for one of our games, and that is Kemet, which is kind of the brother or stepsister or whatever of Cyclades, which is kind of the same, the same publisher, the same super awesome quality components, um, but a really high, high adrenaline, just pure combat game. So that's another good one we're going to put on the table. So whatever you'd like to see, whichever game you'd like to see us play next, uh, again, keep in mind this probably won't go up for a couple of weeks but we just want to get it out there if we do have time to shoot it between then we'll do it and we'll try to get it out but we've got a crazy couple of weeks between it's gonna be busy work and tabletop day and packs and stuff but um at the very least we're gonna get those other two videos out to you guys this weekend hopefully those will go out before packs too so that's a good thing um whatever you'd like to see we're gonna put a vote and uh i'm gonna mention a note in the comments but just leave a comment with what game you'd like to see at the end we'll uh, tally up what game had the most votes and that's the game we'll play next we'll let uh, you let you guys know what that ends up being What's your vote? My vote? I, I have I like all my games. Really? I could go with any of these, and I'd be happy with it. So I think that does it for our little, whatever you want to call this, ramblings update, whatever you want to call it. But um, <laughs> I want to thank everybody for, for all your nice comments and um, all the great feedback we've been getting. And, uh, yeah, let us know what you want us to play next, and uh, stay tuned. More coming.